finally, I just got done extracting that rock out of my pet. I got some leverage underneath it and it finally wiggled loose a little bit and it took a lot. That, that little handhold right there was the only spot that I had to move that boulder with because it's all round and smooth and slippery. It was sitting right there, right next to this rock and in between that two tonner. This is a two ton rock and a three ton rock. That's the one that was up on top there this morning. I slid that in the water, pushed it, pushed it, and pushed it. I've even pushed it a couple times since. And I got it bust loose there and I had it flip it on its side because it won't fit in between those two big boulders there. And I was just struggling, man. I, my gloves, I probably wore my gloves out. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. You know, they're two days old. Whew, boy. It's extremely crucial that I have rubber on every single fingertip when I'm moving those large boulders out of there. It just gives me a little bit of an advantage and some leverage to get those suckers up the bank there. I had to dig a little bit of a ramp here, extract some rocks, some, some uh, two inches out of there. Just so I can get a hand, just a grip on that, because it was laying like that in the water, and I got it up on the little lip of my, the lip. I, when it was down like that, I just grabbed that handhold and just heaved it up the bank there, or heaved it up this way, and then flopped it over. And I took it took a few attempts to get this up flopped over this way. Not very heavy, but just really awkward to move. So I'm finding some really, really sweet pay dirt right there. Found a little chunk in my sluice box. Whew, boy. Man, I just expelled for quite a few hundred calories getting that sucker busted loose and extraction is really tough with those smooth boulders. But that's good. I usually find really good gold in between those big rocks and I am I have found good gold in between those rocks already this morning but I finally got that thing extracted and my sluice box is running sweet hot today the river went back down about a half an inch and I stuck it in there this morning and it was really high it's running hot I lifted lifted the tail up a little bit because it's it was running too hot there but from six scoops, uh, prospector sco scoops in my sluice box, fills up all of my riffles with black sand. And a couple minutes ago, I had just all black sand there when it was blown out, when it was clear, not all the black sand out. But it's looking good. It's looking good. Not a whole lot of gold up here. Uh, but there's gold starting to show up right there. Just a little bit of gold. And... A bunch of buckshot through here quite a few buckshots here but right there there's a big chunk a big chunky piece of gold and not a flake but a chunk and I saw it swirling down here just for a second and boom it just landed right there and didn't even move and it's it's a nice chunk so it's starting to show up just a little bit from one bucket you know little speck there or a, couple, a few flakes there and there's not going to be much gold up here today because I'm running it so hot but I but I like this how it's cleaning out like that Whew, boy that that boulder <laughs> was a tough one for me one of my harder boulders to extract from my pit Normally, I would just roll that around in my pit and work around it, but um, I don't want it in the way of my pit here because I have two more days left, and I'm going to run out of material on this side of the pit here. I'm going to run out of material here pretty soon once I get my, my pathway dug out here deep. This boulder, I think, was just a little bit tougher than that boulder because this boulder, that little cone right there, was just sticking out of the surface about two feet deep right there. And I really had to dig it like I had to dig it four feet deep right there just to extract that boulder because when I find a boulder, I do everything I can 
to extract it out of my pit. I want to get all the big boulders out of my pit so I don't have to work around them, so I don't have to walk around them. And the deeper I dig, those boulders are going to want to roll around on me uh, when I'm digging in my pit, and I don't want them crushing my ankle or something. Uh, but I, I still want to get to the end of the pit there. Um, so I'm keeping it clear of boulders for now because I think the weather is going to be fairly decent this week, and I'll be back. I have to go to work for one day. I have to go back for, to work for one day, uh, Tuesday, Sunday. Sunday, I will run my concentrates through my gold cube, class fight to 50 and 100 mesh, and run uh, 50 minus separate from my 50 plus uh, over my gold cube, and then my 100 mesh, I'll just pan out this, this winter when, when, it's, when I'm really slow, uh, when I don't have anything to do at work. Um, so I want to get to the end pit there. I was finding some really sweet, sweet pay dirt there yesterday too. So that's why I'm keeping this area clear. That boulder right there, I just couldn't prevent. I couldn't prevent from putting that boulder uh, in my pit because it was sitting right here this morning, probably about a ton and a half. This is a three tonner. This is probably, ooh, I would probably say about 500 pounds. I can, I can uh, remove 600 pound boulders out of my pit. If I have a good enough ramp there, and if I have like one of these little <laughs> perfect handhold, <laughs> it only took me 20 minutes to remove to extract from my pit there. But that was that was a pretty tough rock to get out. But I'm super excited. I want to run some more, uh, run some more dirt, process some more dirt uh, through my pay dirt, uh, through my class flying bin here, and I'm gonna get to work because it's about one. 115 or 130 and I'm just gonna I want to get six buckets today and I should be able to do that with my sluice box running this hot and I don't have too many more boulders <laughs> that's what I say in uh, in my pit to extract uh, that's what I say all the time and it never never happens there's always boulders but I I, I want to do I want to I want to remove these boulders because I find good gold around these boulders when they're deep down the deeper the the, the boulder the better gold that I find, but I can't dig deep here uh, because the river up, river, river's up so high, and uh, I don't want to get too wet. You know, it gets it's pretty cold today. The water's fairly cold. So this pay streak super freak, Prospector Jeremy, and I'm on the Little North Fork San Diego River, and I'm out.